Alrighty, today we have a review of the Easy Own version CS7001. It is the 7 inch car GPS navigation with 8 gigabytes of built in storage. So it was packaged very nicely. One reason that I, I liked this one was that it didn't have any branding on it at all and it has a nice slim bezel. A few ports here on the side. This is the USB port for charging. And this one here is a memory card port. And then we got headphones up here. Uh, this says AV in on the back of it, but the port is blocked off. So this model must not have that. On the top, we've got the power button. These little holes here are for the mount. Uh, here we've got a stylus. I haven't taken this out yet. Oh no, the stylus is on that corner. Stylus. And then on the bottom, a few more holes for the mount. So I'm going to go ahead and power the unit on by holding down the power button. That's the brand, Easy Own. And it comes up to this uh, kind of like tablet-like screen. So the first thing you've got is navigation, but you also have Bluetooth on here. You can put music on here through that uh, uh, memory card slot, video, photos. You can keep your contacts, uh, calculators, unit conversion, FM radio. You can change your languages, volume settings, backlight. You can calibrate the screen, date and time settings, a little bit of everything. But we bought this for navigation, so we're going to go right into the navigation settings. It's going to load up the navigation application. And there it is. So the first the first screen that we get is find, manage, and settings. Let's go into our settings. Settings, map screen, route planning, navigation, sound, regional settings, and warnings. We'll go into the map screen, 3D settings, color profiles. I'm not going to get real deep into these settings. I just want to show how well this thing works. Route planning, uh, just like any other GPS. You want to do uh, the fastest route possible. Navigation settings. Sound, regional warnings. Um, speed warning. That kind of stuff. Manage is going to be uh, points of interest in, in anything that you've saved. And then find is going to be uh, to enter an address to get somewhere. You can see the history of the places you've been or else you can find points of interest around you. We are going to go ahead and put a destination in this thing and see what happens. What I'm going to do is put in the address for our local post office which is 1700 G Avenue. So I'm going to hit the binoculars here. Find address. It's already got United States pulled up, Iowa, and Grundy Center because that's where I am. G Avenue is already pulled up because that was one of the last places that I uh, found a location at, but I'll do it again just to show you. So enter street name, we're going to do G space Avenue right there. Just click it. House number is 1700 1700. Done. There it is, pulls it up right away, doesn't even take time to think about it, and we're going to set as destination. I'm going to see if I can turn this guy up a little bit. Yes. So now you should be able to hear him a little better. Back to the map. Here we go.
2.4 miles. You will arrive at your destination. So I'm actually on a frontage road right now, but it thinks that I'm over here on the main highway. What I'm going to do when I get to the post office is I'm going to drive right on past and see what it says. Got it coming up here pretty quick. Alrighty, so the destination completely went away. It said you have reached your destination. So it thinks that I stopped there. Uh, earlier today when I went past where I was supposed to go or, or uh, changed paths on it, it rerouted me really quick. So I'm going to stop right here in town. I'm going to put in another address. Stop right here and put in the address for our high school. Alrighty, address for the middle school or the high school is 1301 12th Street. So we're going to hit the binoculars again, find address, United States, Iowa, Grundy Center, already there. We got to change the street name to 12th. 12th Street. House number is 1301. Done. Pulls it up right away. Set as destination. Take the next left okay. onto H Avenue, then take the next right onto 13th Street. Okay. Take the next right. Onto 13th Street. After a quarter mile, turn right onto 12th Street. does really well laying out all the streets that are around and doing a it does a really good job of letting you know where you're supposed to turn and not just saying turn it shows all the streets so you know if there's one coming up and you're questioning if it's that one or not feet, turn right onto 12th street then take the next left onto m avenue yep we'll take the next left which is right here m avenue Next left. Onto M Avenue, then arrive at destination on the right. Alright, going left. And we made it. So as soon as we get here, it uh, it ca cancels out the route and doesn't bug you and keep telling you to turn around until you tell it to stop. Unlike some other GPSs that I've used that are incredibly annoying. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for this video. I, I just knew that I was skeptical when I purchased this GPS. I got it for $64 on Amazon Prime and I felt like anything comparable to it was like a Magellan or a TomTom Tom or a Garmin. And those, you know, with this seven, seven inch screen that this has, those were 
you know, 150 bucks with the lifetime maps like this has. So I, I thought that I would give this one a try. If it was really all that bad, then I could return it. But I can, I can definitely say that I am going to keep this one. So I, I hope that that video help or that this video helps you and helps you uh, to make a decision. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate this video, comment on if you've got this GPS or if you've got to try it out or, or just whatever you're doing with this GPS. And then subscribe to this channel for other product reviews and everything else that I'm doing around the house. So thanks for watching.